Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel where the fun never ends with Mandela Effects. Welcome all Mandela Effectings to my channel. Hey guys, so I have another one for you. Uh, one that you may remember learning in school about Teddy Roosevelt. I remember him saying, walk quietly and carry a big stick. That's what I was taught. I'm sure that's what you were taught also. However, we are 100% wrong. In this reality, it's always been speak softly and carry a big stick and you will go far. So, and see, I'm trying to find things that line up with our memories. Walk quietly and carry a big stick. That's what Teresa found me. Um, listen to this guy here talking about big stick ideology. September 2nd of 1901, Vice President Theodore Roosevelt would give a speech at the Minnesota State Fair. During this speech, Roosevelt would coin a very famous phrase that would go down in diplomatic history. On this day, it is recorded that Roosevelt said, Speak softly and carry a big stick, which was in reference to his stance on foreign policy. According to Roosevelt, he adopted the phrase from an Old West African proverb. However, the origins of this slogan have been heavily disputed. From this slogan, the ideology of big stick diplomacy was created. Based Basically, the idea is to negotiate peacefully with other countries while simultaneously threatening them with a big stick, aka the military, to reach an agreement. There are count yeah, so I like that guy's deliverance of that of of that uh, <laughs> big stick ideology. There, okay. So that was uh, that was history. I'm gonna go ahead and sub you, buddy. All right, so check it out. Next one here. Um, let's see, this is just a quick clip. Speak softly and carry a big stick is what this one's saying. See, I just can't see that, you know? We would be saying this all throughout, I mean, I, we, I would have learned it in school. There's that one that Teresa sent me. Okay, so here's a book, Google Books, by Billy O. Smith, A Marine's Life in the Shadows, The Reluctant Agent. And right here in the book says, Gentlemen, Teddy Roosevelt once said, walk quietly and carry a big stick. You couldn't say it any better than that. Um, those men and women that are wearing the uniforms of our country are our stick. Do you want a big stick or just a switch? <laughs> a switch will sting when it's used, but will it'll break so easily. Everyone respects a big stick. <laughs> Golly. All right, no, I, I don't need. We don't need to talk dirty here. <laughs> um, birds speak out for reparation, fairness, equal opportunity, and so, this is uh, Joe Bishop. Theodore Roosevelt, right here, says, "Walk quietly and carry a big stick to club the hell out of pig, so it would not squeal while you are stealing it." Um. Yes, assassination. C. J. Cronin. Yeah, well, one thing Roosevelt said that I that I fully agree with: walk quietly and carry a big stick. He was a real man, that fella. Pretty funny, huh? I mean, that's what I was taught in school, and I got proof here too. Uh, let's see, another book here: President Who Did What? Quick rundowns on U.S. leaders by Robert Waldrop. Cal was using Teddy Roosevelt's philosophy of walk quietly and carry a big stick. Look at that. Uh, let's see, this one is a Quizlet that somebody made about chapter 18, 1 through 3, right? Toward the very, these are all, qu you know what a Quizlet is, is like flashcards, right? So people memorize stuff. TR, Teddy Roosevelt, saying about how America should be the world police power. Right here it says, walk quietly and carry a big stick. Another Google book I found was Go Deeper, Illusions Within Reality. Oh man, I should, I should, we should check that out. Rick Collinwood. Um, it's, and it says right here, if you need to defeat or overcome an issue, a situation or another person, use silence, stealth, and cunning. Never reveal your intentions to anybody because there is always a lot of deception within the herd. Come in under the perception zone of any of any opponent, hit hard and fast, and then retreat in silence. 
As Theodore Roosevelt advised, walk quietly and carry a big stick. I, I thought we'd get into a little bit of the etymology of the phrase to see where it came from. And you look at the meaning and origin of the expression. Uh, speak softly and carry a big stick is what he actually says now. Uh, what is the meaning of it? A proverb advising the tact of, tactic of caution and non-aggression backed up by the ability to carry out violent action if required. Perfectly said. Uh, so what is the origin of the phrase, speak softly and carry a big stick? The notion being expressed here is the opposite of the tactics employed by every temporary school teacher, who begins stern and tough and, and when discipline allows it, become more easygoing. The speak softly doctrine, like the earlier phrase, the iron fist and the velvet glove, was to begin gently but uphold a decisive weapon in reserve. The widespread use of speak softly and carry a big stick began with American President Theodore Roosevelt in a letter to Henry L. Sprague uh, on January 26, 1900. And he wrote, speak softly and carry a big stick, uh, semicolon, you will go far. Yeah, here's what he wrote. I have always been fond of West Af the, uh, right here it says the West African proverb. Speak softly and carry a big stick, you will go far. If I had not carried the big stick, in or the organization would not have gotten behind me. And if I yelled, yeah, see, that's what he actually said. So, Roosevelt here claims the phrase to be of West African origin, but I can find no collaborative evidence for that assertion. If it truly was proverbial in 1900, it ought to be easy to to find earlier citations of it, but I, I can find none. Nor is there any record of the phrase actually being used in West Africa before Roosevelt's time. So is that a lie? I don't know. Whether Roosevelt actually believed, for whatever reason, that the expression was West African, or whether he knew it wasn't and was indulging in the form of Confucius, he say, hokum, in order to impart a degree of distinction to it, we don't know. So it's certainly possible he coined the phrase himself. It's very possible. So uh, I'm starting to believe in this reality anything is possible at this point. Um, we've seen so many changes and, you know, the squirting cucumbers really blew my mind the other uh, last week when we talked about it. Um, carnivorous kangaroos, vampire deer, Jesus having a heart on the statue, uh, the big statue of Jesus. Anyway, guys, uh, I'd like to thank you for checking me out. Have a great Mandela Effect night. And God bless. Uh, we hope to have a good show tomorrow night. Uh, please be there or be square. Good night, everyone.